What if I were to tell you that the value you think your Toronto property has gone up in the last five years is only half that amount? Not only going to make that claim, but I'm going to prove it to you that it's less than 50% what you even expected. Okay, but let me make you guys a deal. If you haven't heard this before, if this is new information, make sure you share this video because it's important everyone knows. I mean, would it not be? If your value is less than half of what you actually expected in the last five years? If you do know, feel free to add information. We're looking for contacts. We want people that are in the industry. I'm kind of stepping outside of the real estate world again, and so I'm gonna rely on my experts to add input on what they think is gonna happen in the future. It's kind of cool. In the last few weeks, I've actually been exploring this myself. Even as a real estate salesperson, it's kind of the first time I'm wrapping my head around this whole deal. And it came from talking to some of my international investors. They just kind of slip things in there that they're thinking that the local people that I tend to work with haven't really thought of. So they've left me here with this amazing fact, okay? And I, I, again, this is huge, okay? So look at this, this is the deal. We're talking about foreign exchange, okay? We're talking about the power of the Canadian dollar. Not many people have even thought because we talk about real estate like we're just talking about prices, but it's such a there's such a large macroeconomic side to it that we often forget, even myself being in the industry. So to look at this is just mind blowing, right? So now we're here, okay, so what I wanted to start with is, if you can go, this is all facts, you can go look at all of this. Since 2008, we've been seeing a steady decline in the Canadian dollar, okay? Now, many of you know in the last five years, we've seen tremendous growth in Toronto real estate prices. But why don't we look at it from an international standpoint? Because now, clearly we have, as a, a Toronto is an international city. We're competing with these major markets around the world. I mean, we see the foreign tax being brought in, so obviously there's something to it, okay? So let me give you the numbers. So I looked back from June 2012 till uh, last, this past June, so last month, which is the latest information we got, okay? And last year, the prices were 507,000 in 2012, in June. And in June, last month, they were 793, okay? So if you do quick math, you'll see that's 56.5% growth over five years, which is pretty good. And it's pretty consistent with what we've seen over the last 50 years in, in Canadian real estate, okay? But when you convert that to American dollars, if you go against the reserve currency, it actually drops down from 56.5% to 20.6%. Hey, you guys can send me a message if you want me to show you the numbers I got, or you can do the math yourself. It's not that difficult, okay? So if we converted the dollars then, the dollars now, and where the value is of the Canadian dollar at each time, you'll see that your value drops from 56.5% increase to 20.6%. I mean, when I, when I saw this, I was just blown away. I can't believe it, okay? But now, and, and now we're looking in June, so everyone could say, oh, okay, well, there's a cooling, and it was in the last couple months, so let's look back at the high month, okay? So April was the highest reported month we've seen so far this year. That was the peak, if you will, of the Toronto real estate pricing, okay? If you were to take the June 2012 numbers and compare it to the numbers from uh, April 2017, you would have a growth of 81.3, which is higher than 56.5, right? 81 is pretty significant. But if you were to convert it to American dollars, even in April, it drops down to 41.7%, almost half. Holy smokes, it like blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. And these are real numbers, okay? So that, this is, I think, the lie that we, we get tripped up on and we see the news articles, you see these price changes, but you really aren't putting it into context, okay? So let me give you the bad news. In the last couple months, of course we've seen a cooling off. If you were to convert the change in price in the last few months alone, you would see it change from 13.7% drop from April to June, from April to June, it would change to 14.9. So it actually makes it worse. The way the Canadian dollar, so not only have we struggled in the past getting to this point, but we've actually in the last coming months, in the past two months, we've seen it actually has made it worse on us again. Okay, so that's the bad news. Here's the good news. Something changed last week. The Bank of Canada increased the interest rate. When that happened, the Canadian dollar went through the roof. The Canadian dollar is doing very well. If you look in the last couple days, it's up at 0.79, so on, so on, floating in around that amount, which has grown a lot, even in the last week or so, okay? So if you were to take the numbers we have over from June 2012 to June of 2017, but then you were to factor in the, the, 
the truth that the Canadian dollar has been has increased. It changes from a 13.7% drop from April and it goes it changes to an 8.6. That's a big difference, right? So when we're talking about a market that's crashed by 13%, we're not. We're talking about a market that's crashed by 8% just simply because the Canadian dollar has gotten that much stronger, right? So there's a good and a bad. I think to, to summarize all of this, over the last five years, we've seen half the growth we would expect just because of real numbers. In the last few months, we've actually reduced the drop in real estate prices, and we think simply because the Canadian dollar has gotten stronger. But looking forward to the future, I want to make sure you guys are equipped. We need to keep track of where the Canadian dollar stands. It'll be interesting to see because the Bank of Canada is thinking about increasing interest rates again. If they keep going, the truth is, even with a flat real estate market, a real estate market where Canadian pricing remains uh, the same because the Canadian dollar can strengthen as we've seen it happening in the very recent past. If this continues, you could have an increase in the value of the housing even without the property values increasing. Kind of mind blowing. You don't really think about this, but it's true. Okay. Anyone who's in the for foreign exchange world, add your comments. I'd love to hear where you guys think it's going to go because it really matters. Um, Check the numbers yourself. Look online. Look up the foreign exchange, the changes in the Canadian dollar. You'll see them. The number, these are real numbers. Brand new information. Blew my mind. I hope it does for you. As promised, make sure if you've never heard of this, you share this because it's important. Everyone knows about it. If you have heard, share your feedback. Share what your thoughts are on this and where you think it's going to go. All right, guys. Take care. I'll check in with you next week. Keep it real.